Larry here with 7th Age Law School Prep and another stick figure exam tip. This tip is pre-study and or side study the law. And by this I mean instead of doing only what you're told to do, which is to read the case book, to perhaps brief cases and to show up to class, to wait to be called on and asked totally useless questions, you should, perhaps even before you show up to law school, look at some commercial outlines and begin to memorize the elements of claims and defenses. If you don't do that before you show up for law school, I think it's preferred but not fully necessary. You can then side study the law by doing the same thing except during the semester. Sorry for the crudeness of the drawings, but this is what you're normally asked to do. The casebook itself sets out a number of random facts set out from an appellate case and doesn't necessarily directly set out the elements of specific crimes or torts or parts of contract law or whatever. Nevertheless, you're told, read the casebook, read the casebook. But you have to remember that the casebook is not a textbook like you're used to in college. It contains no answers. It really contains grist. You're going to burn the midnight oil reading all this stuff. For this mill, this is the crudest of drawings, I'm so sorry, but this is a professor wearing a bow tie just beating up on this poor person on call. The professor spends the precious few hours of class time that you have per week just playing freeform jazz odyssey with this person, the person on call, asking about every aspect of a case. At least it's a lot like pulling teeth. The example I always use is uh, it's as if I'm not going to draw this because I'm not good enough. It's as if you're in medical school, and rather than give you a chart of the circulatory system, you're asked to participate in a relatively difficult coronary bypass surgery and asked that way just to figure out the basics of the circulatory system when the professor could have just told you what the circulatory system was like or given you a chart showing that. So here's a question. Let's say you're trying to understand burglary. Are you better equipped doing it this way, where somebody tells you what the elements of burglary are, which is breaking and entering a dwelling uh, with the intent to commit a fe another felony? I made this a bit shorter. And then seeing a fact pattern where this takes place, where this dude has the apparent intent to enter a house, that's the tooth from the last slide, to enter another person's dwelling to get a coat, and then sees a cat that's not his and just takes it. If you were not given any of this stuff above the line, and you're just supposed to figure out what these elements are from this fact scenario, now do you understand why so many of you are confused? Luckily, there's a remedy for this, and it is to pre-study before law school or side study during law school. Any source that'll let you reliably study and memorize the elements of claims and defenses. And this is before you enter the classroom or read cases, or in the case of side studying, read a particular case. So what materials should you use? Commercial, art, uh, commercial outlines are okay. Emanuel's, Gilbert, uh, Law in a Nutshell. Bar prep materials are perfectly okay. Things that you get from Barbary, and most especially the Convisor mini review. That is what I personally studied in a three-week vacation in Spain just before I started in law school myself. In a pinch, and I've also done this personally uh, in later years in law school, I've referred to student-made outlines, especially for upper-class courses. Those are less okay because they can be inaccurate at times. Not that the commercial outlines are perfect, but, uh, but they'll do. They're short and they just set out the elements. That's what you want. Along these lines, Try to avoid treatises. They are excellent when you need to understand the law in legal practice in a certain depth that you don't in law school. So in short, treatises can be too long, too detailed, and a bit confusing when you're just trying to learn the basics. Don't study case books. That's just beside the point. I mean, why would you do that to yourself? There's a bottom line to all of this. Pre-studying or side-studying the law serves two purposes. One, I think it's the correct way to learn the law. I think this is how I could be wrong, but I think they, this is how they do it in other countries where they give you the law and then they get into case studies. 
the case studies themselves are interesting. They're a way of deepening your understanding of how to apply the law, which you'll eventually have to do. But they're a terrible way to learn what the elements are in the first place. And you'll totally be unable to appreciate the application aspect of looking at case studies if you don't know the law first. Second, this is the prize. If you understand the law well enough, if you've memorized enough of the law in, say, crim or torts, you can start doing practice exams. And that's what you need to do to get up the curve, the learning curve of how to take an issue spotting practice exam faster than your classmates. It's, this is how you get ahead in law school.